Hey guys, Stan Sullivan. Now, I know I haven't done a whole lot on this channel here recently, but uh, I've got a couple of projects outside of the workshop that I kind of need to get done, and I also wanted to share those things with you. Uh, you remember back in October when we had Hurricane Matthew come rolling through where we live, and uh, I did a couple of videos on that, and you can find those over on my main channel. I'll leave a, I'll leave a link down in the description. And so that way you can find those videos if you want to watch those. Uh, but a tree, an oak tree, actually fell over and onto the top of the house, which left this gaping hole in the back fence in our backyard. Well, I've just sort of left it like that uh, for all this time for a lot of different reasons. One of them is I actually kind of like the view that it gave us. Uh, I was able to just kind of come back here and what we have in the backyard is a drainage canal and I hear although I haven't verified I hear this drains out to the St. John's River and this is actually a very nice scenery to look at when you come out in the morning you have a cup of joe and you have all of this great Florida woodland foliage here in the backyard <laughs> Uh, but the drawback to that is the fact that we have small children and those small children have a tendency to come back here and wander just a little bit too close. Plus the wildlife, you know, can eat some faces or so, <laughs> or so I tell them. And so I think it's gotten to the point now where I'm ready to go ahead and close this back up. So I think the first thing that I need to do is take assessment of exactly how much these panels are actually leaning. Uh, this one post here is actually going to have to go. I've got to replace it because when the tree came down, it actually busted that in half. So that I've got to dig out. Now, that is not really a huge problem for me because as I have gone over in previous videos, uh, I do not use concrete to set posts anymore. Uh, and th the biggest reason for that is what you're seeing right here is the fact that if something like this happens, it's very easy for me to pull those out. Uh, oftentimes, if the post isn't broken, like this one is, then what I can do is actually just dig it out a little bit, reset it, and then pack the dirt back around it, and that fence post is just good. However, this one here is actually busted, so it had to come out and a new one has to be set back in its place. So with that, uh, just some three inch screws will help reattach this fence panel back to the fence post. And then the cross beams, I'll just set those back where the uh, old one was, or close to it, somewhere in that same vicinity. And when I built this fence, when we first moved into the house, I actually built it fence picket by fence picket. This did not come in prefabricated panels of eight foot lengths or anything like that. I actually purchased each fence picket individually and they came on a pallet and somebody with a forklift delivered them right into my driveway and I hauled them to the backyard one by one. And yes, that, that was a hard job. So this is a picket on picket fence and so these fence pickets actually overlap and I believe what I done in the past is I used a 2x4 to set the spacing for the first row of fence pickets and then after that the second row of fence pickets can go on and I just use some nails now uh, before I actually used an air compressor with a nail gun to set these because there was just a lot of them but because this is just 
just a few, maybe, you know, 24 or so. I'm just using a hammer and nails here. And of course, I have my lovely assistant over there handing them to me, so I don't have to keep bending over to get these. I ran into a little bit of a problem. I only bought two fence pickets, and I don't know, I must have thrown a couple of them away or something like that when it initially happened because I ended up being three short. So I had to go back to the home improvement store and get a couple of more. And so it is Sunday morning and that's right. It is a completely repaired fence. Man job done.